Okay, so now we are looking at uh, Team Ramstein, Basic Jurisdiction and German Lesson 7. We're going to be going into directions here. Uh, yes, I'm dressed the same, and I still have the same margarita, so obviously I'm trying to knock out some videos all in one fell swoop, and you'll have to forgive that. Um, but if I don't finish that margarita through the third one, you'll at least be able to hear me enunciate correctly. So today's agenda, going to the culture corner, which is the vegetable harvest fest, big deal in Deutschland. Going through our foundational vocabulary and then directions and getting around. We only have 29 slides to go through, so let's get to it. So what is called is Spargelfest, Spargelfest, and Spargel is asparagus, right? And Spargelfest is mid-April to the end of June. It's a one-of-a-kind celebration over the white asparagus harvest. It's a big deal. And if you haven't had the white asparagus, it is quite delicious. And like I said, they roll through in late spring in später Frühling that and they're quite yummy and it's still quite cold here. Anyone who's been here for longer than a year will know that it was still sweater weather into June. And then you have the term Königsgemüse. Königsgemüse, which literally means the king vegetable or the king's vegetable. It's the name for white asparagus, and the white asparagus was literally bred for German nobility in ancient times. Not sure why the green wasn't good enough for the nobility, but nevertheless, white was the preferred one. Go ahead and draw your conclusions now, but do not be presentist. That would be sinful. But they have beer tents, dances, and a smattering of different asparagus dishes. And I'm not kidding you. They make tarts out of these things, pancakes, appetizers, you name it, as well as eating contests. And when you see some of the fellows get into those things, you, you just won't be, you won't be feeling like uh, you want to compete, I promise you. So, foundational vocabulary basics, right? So let's go through this again. Maybe, maybe is vielleicht, even if. Sogar wenn, afterwards, nachher, nachher, worse, schlechter, where, wo, everything, alles, somewhere, irgendwo, what, was, almost, fast. Now look at that fast. I know, in English that's fast, so it fits with almost. It's like a built-in mnemonic device. Quite handy. There, da, oder, dort. Best way to, descri to describe those two, they're interchangeable to a degree, but there, uh, da means there. Dort means over there. But again, they're interchangeable, especially when we're talking about just trying to be able to communicate and have basic conversational, you know, exchanges, right? So da, dort, so oder so ist in Ordnung, da, there, dort, over there, but again, interchangeable. Even if I go now, sogar wenn ich jetzt gehe, sogar wenn ich, ich jetzt gehe, ich jetzt gehe, remember that T-Z-T, every single letter in a German word is pronounced. This is not your father's French. Afterwards is worse. Nachher is or es schlechter. Nachher ist es schlechter. Pick one or the other. They both work. Where is everything? Wo ist alles? Wo ist alles? Maybe somewhere. Vielleicht irgendwo. Wo. Remember that V, that V is a W. Vielleicht irgendwo. What? I'm almost there. Was? Ich bin fast da. Was? Ich bin fast da. Where are you? Sind Sie wo? Or, on an informal level, Du bist wo? Sind Sie wo? Du bist wo? Sind Sie? Formal, Du bist informal. You and I. Sie und ich, oder informal, du und ich. 
Now, let's get around. Let's talk about some directions and how we actually get from point A to point B and how do we ask for them? What do we do with this, right? It's crazy. In fact, I think we pretty much dedicated uh, Lesson 7 and Lesson 8 to directions because it can be quite complicated. So here's our cardinal directions. Uh, directions in German? Richtungen. Richtungen. So we have Norden, Süden, Osten und Westen. I think these are pretty self-explanatory. North, South, East, West. Norden, Süden, Osten, Westen. Where is? Wo ist? The hotel is located in Cologne. Das Hotel befindet sich in Köln. Köln. So when you hear Köln and you're thinking you want to go visit Cologne, remember Cologne has the, the French spelling uh, just due to the proximity to the border and because some of the names of these towns did not change. Metz is in France and Metz is uniquely German sounding, right? So same thing. Cologne is French. Köln is the German name for it. She lives on the high street. Sie wohnt an der Hauptstraße. Hauptstraße. When you see Hauptstraße, and there's one in every town in Germany, it just basically means Main Street. Are you new here in the city? Bist du neu hier in der Stadt? Bist du neu hier in der Stadt? The bakery is next to the office. Die Bäckerei ist neben dem Büro. Die Bäckerei ist neben dem Büro. Bäckerei. Remember, A, umlaut. Short vowel E in English. That's far away from here. Is Das ist weit weg von hier. Weit weg von hier. That's right in the area. Das ist in der Nähe. Nieha. Is it far? Is this weit? How far is it to the city? Wie weit ist es zur Stadt? Wie weit ist es zur Stadt? I'm ten minutes away from the city. Ich bin zehn Minuten entfernt von der Stadt. Now, Stadt, think about that. It's a city. We might think of that as a state. Stadt is a city. They're about two kilometers away. Sie sind etwa zwei Kilometer entfernt. Sie sind etwa zwei Kilometer entfernt. How do I get to? Wie komme ich zu, and then just fill in the blank, right? Uh, wie komme ich zu uh, Bahnhof, right? You know, how do I get to the Bahnhof, right? How do I get to the train station? Front and back is vorne und hinten. Vorne und hinten. Inside and outside. Innen und außen. Oder drinnen und draußen. Just that easy. Left and right. Links und rechts. Links und rechts. Rechts. So you get that R-E-C-H and a T-S to get through. And they all get pronounced. Links und rechts. Go straight, then turn left. Gehen Sie geradeaus und biegen Sie dann links ab. Gehen Sie geradeaus und biegen Sie dann links ab. I often interchange my GPS language between German, French, and Spanish because it keeps me current. You'd be surprised how much Siri or Google Maps or anybody, any of those things that you're using when they're speaking to you and giving you directions, when they're speaking to you to a, in a different language but one that you're slightly familiar with, you'd be surprised at how well that keeps you current. Go straight and turn right. Likewise, gleichweise, gehen Sie geradeaus und biegen Sie dann rechts ab, rechts ab. And next Woche, well, it looks like it was going to be more directions, which was what we're going to do. So there it is. See you in the next lesson where I'll be wearing the same and still nursing the same margarita. A grapefruit margarita. And by the way, grapefruit in German 
is grapefruit. Cheers.